So guys, this is my under my hood of my Jeep. Um, new battery where I had the old one stolen. Um, came with the cold air intake here, K and N. Um, just did the oil change, so I got a new filter there. Uh, radiator when I bought it. A couple months into it, got a crack on the top. So brand new radiator right here. Haven't really done too much to the front here. Um, uh, came with the lights here, the KC lights. Um, there's a switch on the inside. But yeah, pretty much everything in here uh, is how I got it except for the radiator and the battery. Um, oh yeah, and then one thing um, down here, I don't know you can see it right here. Um, I had to replace the crankshaft position sensor, I believe it was called. Um, this wouldn't start one day. Um, nice little trick with a Jeep is that you can actually stick the key into the ignition uh, three times. Um, turn it three times and it'll actually give you the code and I got a code. Went ahead and replaced it in it and fixed it. So it's kind of tough to get down there man. I had to uh, run the wire, plug it into the battery which kind of scoots behind the engine here but it worked out. Um, purchased these um, side mirrors so I moved it to here because I like to take the doors off. I mean it's in pretty good shape. It's a 2001. Looks like you painted the side here. But These are my uh, rescue dogs. This is Coco here and Tucker. They like to ride in the Jeep with me. Uh, tires Tires, I got 31s, some mud terrain tires from Pro Comp. I think they cost me around 190 each, and I got the steel wheels, the glossy finish. Um, my spare tire was the one right here. It was the one that I had before. The white walls were actually out. And I had the stock rims. Um, somebody had actually punctured two holes on my tire here on the right side, so I just went ahead and uh, replaced them with some mud terrain tires, which is cool. Don't mind that. Um, got some damage here, uh, right here and back there. This one was from when I was rock crawling my first time off-roading. Got stuck up on a rock. These things are... As you can see, they're plastic, man. They're not that great. Um, this was my fault. When the tire had gotten flat, I went ahead and jacked it from here, which I should have jacked it from the bumper. And jacking it from here, I just tore this up. That's my fault. But it's in good shape. It's in pretty good shape for a 2001. I really liked it. Uh, mileage. 151,000 when I bought it. It was 147. So kind of high mileage. I'm only the, only the third owner. Second owner only did it for as a toy. The first owner is the one that put all the miles on it. Um, came with a bikini top, also a safari top that comes all the way back here. Uh, he has like a little net he gave me for the back here. Um, right now I have the soft top taken out completely, otherwise it'd be back here. Um, CD deck, uh, I put that in a couple months ago, right here. Uh, the one he had was a CD deck but it didn't have the Bluetooth. And for me I like to stream all my music off my phone through Pandora or my iTunes onto here so I went ahead and got one of those. Has a USB as well and a little microphone here so I can talk Bluetooth if somebody calls me. Pretty standard in here. Automatic um, air conditioning. Uh, the switch right here. 
is for the lights. Uh, having an Uga horn that the guy put in on one of these buttons here. Don't really use that. Don't really care too much. Um, uh, yeah, speakers. Actually, the speakers that were in here were bad, the stock ones, so I went ahead and replaced them with some Pioneer, I think, I believe. And when I was doing the deck, I went ahead and replaced these. Sounds much better, you know, sound bar, like all Jeeps have. I just had all this uh, taken out in the back here. I had all the carpet taken out and the seat and the seat belt, everything. Um, for like the springtime, so when it rained, I could just drain it with the drain plugs in the bottom, which is cool. Love that about Jeeps. Get a little wet, it's not a big deal. I uh, got the high lift jack, very useful here. Uh, I got damage to it uh, when I went off roading. I actually had the bottom part facing down, and so when I came off and hit a rock, this this whole piece here got bent up and I had to bend it down. I don't know if you can see, I can't totally get it on all the way because it's stripped. Should be an easy fix if I want to fix that up though. Yeah, these are my dogs here. Hey guys, you like the Jeep, huh? You like riding the Jeep? Yeah? You guys like riding the Jeep? You guys want to tell mommy to buy a Jeep Wrangler, huh? And get rid of the Cherokee, huh? Yeah. Yeah, trying to get my wife to buy a Jeep Wrangler so we can get a four-seater or four-door, sorry, a four-door, um, so we can take it, maybe take both of them, go to the picnic areas and whatnot. Um, probably going to do a video later on about my sway bar here. I'm using my golf ride, just take it off. I had purchased a, like a clevis pin and a clip to hold in here. Tried driving around, it didn't didn't work too well, so I usually just uh, bring my tools with me and take this off and I go off roading and then I zip tie it up here. But uh, what else? Oh yeah, so my battery, I don't know if I talked about this, my battery got stolen. So I went ahead and bought this guy here uh, to lock it. It's mounted right it's mounted right there and right there. Uh, so locks came to go to work one day my hood was open like this battery was gone I live in a pretty decent neighborhood so not sure um, so yeah I said I would talk about how much I paid for this guy uh, so I paid 8700 for it Last year, a Memorial Day weekend, I bought it from an older man who bought it probably when it had 140,000 miles, gave it to me at 147. For him, it was just a toy. Um, he said he only took it off-roading once. He doesn't believe the first owner ever took it off-roading, and it's more of a commuting car, so hence the high mileage and all that. Um... Yeah, I want to get rid of these guys here. It's a little scraped up, so... When I've been off-roading a few times, the tire keeps scraping right here, so I want to... I wish I could get some flat ones. They're pretty expensive. They're like 500 bucks. Get the flat... Flat all the way around. But if you do a lot of off-roading, it's kind of what you want. Looking to upgrade this for a locking one. Um, yeah, man. It's my first Jeep. I love it. You know, I love working on it as well. When you have a car or a vehicle you like to work on, it's, you, I don't know, I think a, it's a lot easier, man, to do stuff yourself than to take it in and have stuff worked on. Oh, yeah. So this guy built this, cus this is custom right here, a little custom piece of wood that he put some carpet over. Right, and it actually will come out right here. Right, it comes out and has some hooks in there. Uh, you can take that out, but it's nice because you can put stuff in here and then people kind of... People will kind of look and not really think twice about it. Something about a Jeep though, your stuff is going to be exposed when you have all the stuff off. 
Uh, got the little oh shit handles right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, he's got a chrome tip here that he put on. It's got like a two, I think a two or a two and a half inch lift that he had on there. Like a, like a budget lift. Um, these look really nice. He has some spacers on there on the tires. So I got these put on and actually put, since the tires are more beefier, pushed it out and I kind of like the look. You know, when you're looking at the side there, the tires kind of stick out. I like that a lot. I think that's cool. You guys want to go off-roading? Huh? Yeah? You guys want to go off-roading sometime? Yeah? Oh yeah, so I'm also, yeah, I'm a Green Bay fan by the way. Got my little boxing gloves here. Uh, that's a little uh, GoPro like adhesive tape that I put there so I can have the camera either way. I'm thinking about installing one on this side as well. And I may be getting like a suction cup one for outside. But GoPros are really nice. That's part of the whole deal here. I'm actually recording this from my camera because my GoPro was dead. I don't know what happened. It didn't charge all the way. But yeah. Let me uh, close this up. I'll do some videos of it, how it looks with the hood closed. Very keen on having my doors off a lot. Um, so that's why I put these over here and just pop the door off. I don't have to unscrew it every time. So that's why that bracket's gone and it's on here. It is difficult to see the mirror uh, from the driver's side on this one. You can barely see it, but it's here just more for so I don't get a ticket. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice, man. It's in good shape. I mean, obviously with an older Jeep or any Jeep, you're going to get nicks and scratches. Um, so nothing too bad. I got it. It was really clean, man. Really nice. And you get some scuffs here. I think that was probably there when I got it. But, yeah, man. I love, I love this Jeep. Love it. I'm trying to get my wife to get one. Hopefully, she'll trade in her Cherokee. It's a non 4x4 Jeep Grand Cherokee. But, or so. But, yeah. My fault. My fault. I mean, what can I tell you? I'm going to take this bad boy off-road pretty soon here. So, once you go off-roading, once you go off-roading, man, you're almost going to get hooked on it. But, yeah. Hey, Coco. You just chilling? Just chilling in the back, huh? Yeah, Tucker too. These are my Jeep and dogs here. Probably see a lot of uh, them in my videos. This guy here loves to go for rides, huh? Yeah, except we're not really moving right now. We're just in the back chilling. But yeah, man. One thing I love about Jeeps, man, is almost all this stuff can be upgraded man or taken off um, easily easily so like I said I had all this taken out in the back everything was gone everything was gone from here no seat no carpet no seat belt no mounting brackets for the seats everything took everything out I just put everything back right now it's summertime it's not going to be raining too much Maybe in the fall I'll take it out again so that in case it does rain a few times I can just drain it. Uh, yeah, not too bad. You know, it's 14 years old, but I think it's in good shape. They hold their value really well, so I paid 8700 I might even be able to get more if I sold it right now. I think because I the new tires and all that really nice. Uh, look at these tires here. That compared to look at the look at the tread on these things, man. 
and then compare it to this. So, even by adding these tires, I got a little bit more height clearance, clearance wise. I haven't had any really issues down here. Uh, just changed the transfer case fluid before I went off roading for my first time last month. So that's been changed. I think you only got to do that every like 30,000 miles or so. But yeah. That is my Jeep. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out some of my previous videos.